Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Rust news video. The hype train is incoming. Rust is coming to Xbox and PlayStation. The beta is now live. Loads of you guys have got codes, judging by what you've been telling me in Discord. And I've seen it across Twitter sphere. There is even leaked gameplay going about. Unfortunately, it does look like you're going to be banned though if you share any of that stuff. So I highly advise you leave the leaked stuff alone. But what do we know about the Rust bait on consoles? Well, unfortunately, we do know there's going to be no more codes given out until Tuesday. They have kind of hit their limit already of how many codes they've given out. They announced earlier. So we're going to cover that, plus the latest that's going on on PC Rust, the brand new train and cart system, the underground tunnels, huge business. Will this come to the Xbox and PlayStation versions? I'm here to give you the lowdown on what we know so far. I'm amazed that the actual official trailers only picked up 91,000 views. This is meant to be the most hyped game on console for years in the survival space and you guys can't even get this to 100,000. Go and watch it now. Go and share the love and tell Double Eleven you want a beta code. So if you haven't got a beta code yet, it does look like you're going to have to wait until Tuesday. This was put out by the official channel. What an amazing week so far. We've got a lot of valuable data and feedback and it was all thanks to our testers. At the moment, we have taken as many of you as we can safely. On Tuesday, we will update the game and resume our intake. Thank you for the support, everyone. Now, they have been sending out lots and lots of invites over the last few days. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the weekend goes well. All you Chad wannabes do pretty good stuff on the beta. You give lots of feedback and hopefully there'll be more invites going out. It's going to be a slow process. If you don't know, I've gone through the 10 things you do need to know. The beta, the limited edition version of it, that's what I'm calling it for now, that's going to be running to the 29th of March. So they're only going to be letting in small numbers pretty much every day until then, and they may have big gaps like now. After the 29th of March, who knows what's actually going to happen? Are they going to start opening up more? Will they actually take it down for a little while? Will they actually just go ahead and release it as it's done? No one really knows, but I'll be there to let you guys know. I have been speaking to Double Eleven a little bit, and I am assured that I hopefully I will get some news to deliver to you guys in the near future. Fingers crossed I'll be the first person to tell you exactly when the next stage of the beta begins, and pretty much everything that's going to happen next. There are some plenty of clickbait articles out there. I'm not going to be showing any of the leaked footage that you may have come across. As I said, I really would not risk it, even if you think you're being sly and hiding your gamer tags. There's a lot of software embedded in these technical tests that they can actually find people that are doing it. Do not risk getting your account banned, particularly if it's on Xbox. If you're breaking the Xbox Insider program, you can risk having your whole account terminated, losing all of your downloadable games. I'm pretty sure developers have also petitioned PlayStation in the past and got rid of testers that have leaked stuff as well. So don't do it. Don't share screenshots or gameplay. Equally, try not to share too much on Twitter and Discord unless you're in the actual private Discord. Lots of you guys did share your pictures showing that you got the invite and it did have a Discord that you could go and join. Obviously, only for the beta testers to give crucial feedback. Also, bear in mind, I'll put this as a reminder, if you signed up before the 21st of February, you will have the first email in your inbox somewhere. Now, this doesn't guarantee you're going to get in the beta at all, but you have more of a chance. They have now closed it. You may sign up for the newsletter, but I don't know if that's going to be exactly the same thing. So if you haven't received a second email giving you the invite to the beta, well, that might not happen now until Tuesday. And like I said, after that, it looks like they'll be rolling them out in small batches every day. But once 29th of March is out, once they've got some good feedback, who knows, maybe they will start opening up a little bit more. They have also updated the FAQs to state that there will be no server rentals available during the beta tests. So if you're frantically looking where you can get one like you can on PC, don't bother and you will not be able to buy any skins off the skin store, that is not going to be available during any of the beta tests. It also includes more information about why they've had to do it a certain way in giving invites out. Basically, they're scaling up as and when they need it, determined by the data. It is random just because you signed up on 2019. Doesn't mean you've got more of a chance than someone that signed up just last month. But there you go, a few extra bits that have been added. Now, obviously, a big part of Rust is the monthly updates it receives. Now, I've always been under the impression that the Xbox and PlayStation versions, I would assume, would get the same kind of love. But is it going to be exactly the same as PC? 
how close to the PC version is the console. I can't wait to deliver that information to you as soon as I'm able to. But for now, just in case you haven't seen it, obviously the PC version has got its new railway network. Pretty much you'll find entrances next to most of the monuments and underneath there's a huge network with drivable work carts. So obviously a pretty good place to maybe capture and corner people, pretty much rob them just like you in New York City in the 80s. And these are the work carts, kind of like an open train trolley. It's really cool stuff, it looks really amazing. I feel like this is taking Rust to another level. We can only pray that the Xbox and PlayStation versions are going to get this kind of content. I've always told you guys from what I know of other games that I've followed for years, some of this stuff won't maybe happen just straight away. Or once it's live, don't expect to get the same PC updates on console at the same time. It will take a bit longer. But it is looking absolutely fantastic. They've also added the slot machines this month to the PC version. So you can carry on gambling as much as you want and try and earn some more moolah and scraps. They've had issues with the server browser, so they've changed that now. Server performance has also been hopefully improved. And they've got rid of family sharing on Steam. Apparently players were abusing it too much and they don't plan to re-enable it. Now this did piss off quite a big portion of players. Gary Newman put a Twitter poll out and most people actually said they should keep the family share on. But there are a lot of cheaters and hackers and stuff and hopefully it will deter some of them. Lots of improvements and fixes and Twitch drops have been enabled. That's another question. Are console going to get Twitch drops? People seem to think no, but actually there's been loads of these kinds of uh, sort of promotions running. Assassin's Creed, you can get Twitch gear just by signing in and watching stuff. And likewise, there's loads of games that I've covered or shown. While I've looked at a live stream, you've been given some sort of supply crate or some loot or some stuff. So I can't see any reason why in the future maybe we will get something like this. And maybe because uh, they follow me, maybe I'll be one of the first. God damn, look at my rat bag Russ Chad. You know you want his mug on one of your garage doors in the future. There are also apparently new guards for this train system as well, so a new NPC. There's going to be 20 stations which will spawn on a default size map. Rustified has got more details on this. They're radiation free, but you won't have any loot on the many flights of stairs down. There's a bunch of corridors that you'll go down next, and then there's platforms where you can actually hop on one of the carts. It looks really good. I can't wait to maybe dive on this on PC and give it a shot as well. And this is probably one of the best shots of it. I don't think I've seen anything like this in any other type of survival game. This is like on another level. Hopefully it will get used and maybe not a gimmick like cars ended up being. The new NPC are these tunnel dweller guards. They're gonna have 125 HP points M92 pistol or M39 rifles. Obviously you won't get that when you kill them. They'll have just a mix of lower tier loot. And there will be some tunnel loot when you go down further. But you're going to have to dig down and explore a lot more. On a default size map there's going to be over 40 work hearts that can spawn at any time. And it's going to have a 1000 HP so you can actually blow up one of these work hearts. Apparently you can fit around 15 players on the back of one of these. You won't be able to lock it though so anyone can come around and nick it. If you're trying some sort of highest good luck you're gonna to have to make sure it's properly guarded you will have to put fuel in it and then it pretty much goes straight forward there's a throttle with three speeds and the only actual steering you'll be doing is choosing either a or d for right or left etc along some splits in a track now the fuel consumption will go up depending how quickly you're going so you can go a bit slow if you're thinking you're going to run out and as i said it does look like they will take a lot of damage you can ram other work carts and that will cause significant amount of damage so be careful because of that. Apparently one C4 or two rockets is enough to destroy a full health cart. And also you will not be able to build in any of these tunnels. So there you go, that's the lowdown on carts and maybe a glimpse into the future of what console fans hopefully can expect. So as ever, the best place for Rust news with no BS or algorithm hunting. And only slight mild clickbait, I'll see you right bags for another one. Hopefully on Tuesday I'll give you the lowdown on anything we've learned till then. Layers!